All right, so you just crashed your DJI Spark. Now what do you do? If it went something like this, Oh crap, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> well, my first crash. <laughs> so if you did that just like me, stay tuned and I'll show you what you gotta do next. All right, so your drone is your baby. It's your new toy, uh, but you're wondering, well, is it okay? I had this thought as soon as I made my first epic crash which you just saw I'm wondering you know wow did it, it was it okay was it was it gonna be all right one of the first things you want to do is you want to pick up the drone and you simply want to turn it off so you double tap it and hold it and so you want to you want to press it once and then hold it and then it will shut off the, your drone but you want to inspect the wings itself see like this one it's got a bunch of dirt all over you can see it right there. You want to make sure that the wings just don't have any cracks in it. And you basically are just doing a, a good visual inspection. They shouldn't feel loose. Your wings should actually feel somewhat stiff like when you bend them. If they feel kind of loose, you want to replace them right away. You can get a replacement of all your wings and they're wicked cheap. I knew that as soon as I started to crash this drone um, and my wings were eventually going to get damaged, I just went out and bought a full pair of replacement wings. There's a link in the description below. So get these right away. With the circle, right? You got ones with a circle and ones without. Now what's the difference with that? The one with the circle you have to press down. You, you literally press down and you turn it counterclockwise and it removes it right out. Very simple. The one without the circle you press down and you go clockwise and it pops out. They spin with respect to the, w their position on, on this. You can see on the drone itself where there's this one without the circle goes in the spot where there's no markings on it. The propeller with the circle has got marks on it. So we're just gonna remove. We're gonna remove the other ones. So now we have the wings removed from our DJI Spark. One of the things that I like to do is I, I like to inspect the inside of the drone. That way there's no like debris, some, something that, that got maybe snuck its way in there like a piece of a leaf or a blade of grass or even a stick or a piece of, uh, piece of one of the feet may have been broken off like I just showed you. What you can do is that you can look inside and you can actually see all of these little coils. As you rotate the motor, you'll start to see these tiny little coils inside and you can just visually inspect where, you know, if there's any kind of grass or any kind of debris that may have snuck its way in there and it's perfectly safe to be spinning this in either direction so it'll be okay if you do that. The next thing you want to do is check your gimbal. There, I've gotten grass just jammed up inside the gimbal, like in between the gimbal where it can move. I've got grass jammed up in there before because I was just going too fast, too low, and I hit like a small little bump in the ground. So what you want to do is just inspect it, and if there's grass in it, it's going to try to move. And when it tries to move, it'll get stuck. So you want to just like pick out anything that may have gotten in there and gently, uh, gently move it around. If you got a microfiber cloth, that'll work just fine. So everything looks good. Now we're gonna take our wings and we're gonna put them back on. The propeller with the circle in the middle, it's gonna go back onto the motor with the two white lines on the outer end of it. And the way to get it back on is you simply put it in and then you want to go clockwise with the little white circle in the middle. When you're putting your propellers back on, you want to be sure to hang on to the motor itself. This is where it physically spins. Push, turn, it's going to sit nice and tight, no worries at all. Okay, great, so now we've got all the propellers back on there. Now, do you have to straighten out all of the wings in order to take off? No, you really don't, because the drone is surprisingly smart. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to double tap. You want to press once and then hold for the DJI to come on. You'll hear it start to come on, and then you'll see it come on. And then if you uh, you want to do this without the remote, then 
and you can do it without the remote as well you can you can double click on the battery and it will recognize your face it, it just figures it out it's so cool so double tap and it looks for your face yeah it, it looks for your face like that how cool now how cool is that right So that's how you inspect a DJI Spark after it crashes. Most of the time, those things are just going to be okay. If you make an epic crash, I highly recommend that you take the wings off, just like I showed you in the video, and inspect them. With that being said, thanks for watching this video. We have finally come to a conclusion on what to call this new drone channel. And with a vote of 13 to 14 Facebook profile, we have come to the conclusion that we will go with Drone Maverick. Yes, you're witnessing the history of Drone Maverick, unless by some incredible miracle that people hit, you know, a bunch of buttons and all of a sudden that changes to take flight. I doubt it. Drone Maverick is the one that we are going to call this YouTube channel. A huge shout out to Daryl Leaves for inspiring me to create this channel and to just go all out and all in on uh, creating drone videos. And I really, really, really look forward to making these videos for you. So be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell notification so you get to see more drone videos about the DJI Spark as well as many other drones that are going to be down the road. So I hope you find those entertaining and that these are very informative. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.